Well, as a special situation, as an opportunistic investor, I am uh, excited about the ability to uh, help those companies that have been over levered uh, in, in the cycle to help them uh, restructure their balance sheets. Uh, uh, whether it's uh, a formal process or informal process, there is capital structure solutions. And we uh, at MB Global track uh, a significant dozens and dozens of companies that we think are good businesses, but the balance sheet is just too heavy. Uh, the business cannot possibly support the amount of debt that's been put on it. And so as a result, equity we think is option value, uh, even subordinated debt might be worth a significant discount to its original par value. So really your senior secured part of the capital structure is the fulcrum security and really can controls the value outcome in those situations. So naturally in a cycle, when you've had the bull market for 10 years, we'll have cleanup to do. And I think solutions capital uh, is how we position ourselves at MV Global, the buyer of the last resort. We feel that um, the opportunity set is uh, growing for us and we're excited about it. I think there are special situations in all types of markets. Uh, we found very interesting things to do uh, over the last uh, five and a half years where we've been in the middle, biggest, in the middle of the biggest bull market of all time. All industries and uh, all types of uh, investments are dealing with uh, very uh, high rates, uh, high prices uh, in, in, in their respective sectors. Private equity prices are high, equity prices are high, credit prices are high. And I think that uh, uh, kind of focusing on downside protected, niche, special types of opportunities when there was a failed auction, or if somebody really needs capital, their deal fell through, and you sort of the, uh, stand as that capital of the last resort. I think across all markets, uh, it's, it's an interesting opportunity. But in a bull market like we have now, obviously having uh, a smaller asset pool that you try to deploy and focusing more on smaller and middle market situations is the smart place to be. When there is a bigger dislocation, that would justify uh, focusing on the larger cap situations as well as managing a large pool of capital. That's a broader generalization, uh, of course, because there are occasionally large cap situations as well across all market cycles. Uh, but as a broader guideline, I think uh, investors across all asset classes would be wise to regulate the amount of capital that they have in a particular space depending on the stage of the market cycle that we're in. So the way we think about risk uh, at MB Global Partners um, is directly correlated with the way we've structured our vehicles. We uh, are tactical, which means that we can invest across the capital structure. So we can buy debt, senior secured, unsecured, depending where we see value. And we can also do value private equity, sort of those special situations when there was a failed auction or somebody really needs to sell an asset and their process fell through, where multiples that we've paid, even in this overpriced environment for assets where we are a private equity investor, uh, have been 2.8 to five and a half times cash flow, a far cry from uh, you know, 12 to 15 being paid for general buyouts. So the way we manage risk uh, in our portfolio is by using our tax tactical flexibility to move across the capital structure. And in a very overpriced market like we have today, where we think a lot of companies have only option equity value. So it's questionable whether there's gonna be equity value or not. We wanna be more senior in the capital structure. We want to be downside protected. We want companies to have assets. And as the market unfolds and then there is vo more volatility, as we'll inevitably have going forward, that's when you can do more equity type transactions, but at very different multiples.
My outlook for 2020, well, it's uh, an unusual year, um, which you, when you have an election, you always have various kind of uh, idiosyncratic factors uh, that you have to build uh, into your thinking, maybe positive, might be negative. Um, I think for now, it seems like with the Federal Reserve um, uh, really committed uh, to uh, keeping our rates steady or lower, uh, I think that uh, globally, obviously, uh, there is additional stimulus in Europe, particularly, that's happening. So I think uh, all in, we're going to kind of muddle along unless you have, uh, it's typically not one, but a confluence of events that really shakes up the confidence. And I think that those events are inevitably going to happen. But because of our uh, highly levered system, and because the investor psychology is very much on edge, those kind of couple of idiosyncratic events uh, might have a significant influence on pricing. It might be for a shorter time period, but it will happen. And what you want to do is be prepared with assets you want to buy, whatever else you want to accomplish, because those are the periods when we found sellers are a lot more agreeable uh, when they see the kind of volatility and they see calamity. So we like to be the buyer of the last resort. In general, great fortunes in, in across history have been made by being the buyer of the last resort. And so you want to do your work and position yourself to be that solutions capital provider.